The fathers shall not be put to death for the children, neither shall the children be put to death for the fathers. Every man shall be put to death for his own sin. Thou shalt not bend the justice due to the sojourner or to the fatherless, nor take the widow's raiment to pledge. But thou shalt remember that thou wast a bondman in Mithraim, and Yahweh thy God redeemed thee thence. Therefore I command thee to do this thing. When thou reapest thy harvest in thy field, and hast forgotten a sheaf in the field, thou shalt not go again to fetch it. It shall be for the sojourner, for the fatherless, and for the widow, that Yahweh thy God may bless thee in all the work of thy hands. When thou beatest thy olive tree, thou shalt not go over the boughs again. It shall be for the sojourner, for the fatherless, and for the widow. When thou gatherest the grapes of thy vineyard, thou shalt not glean it after thee. It shall be for the sojourner, for the fatherless, and for the widow. And thou shalt remember that thou wast a bondman in the land of Mithraim. Therefore I command thee to do this thing. Dabarim, Deuteronomy chapter 25. If there be a con- Controversy between men, and they come to judgment, and the judges judge them, then they shall justify the righteous and condemn the wicked. And it shall be, if the wicked man be worthy to be beaten, that the judge shall cause him to lie down and to be beaten before his face, according to his wickedness. By number, forty stripes he may give him, he shall not exceed, lest if he should exceed and beat him above these with many stripes, then thy brother should seem vile to thee. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox when he treadeth out the grain. If brothers dwell together, and one of them die, and have no son, the woman of the dead shall not be married without to a stranger. Her husband's brother shall go in to her, and take her to him for a woman, and perform the duty of a husband's brother to her. And it shall be, that the firstborn that she beareth shall succeed in the name of his brother that is dead, that his name be not blotted out of Yishra'el. And if the man like not to take his brother's woman, then his brother's woman shall go up to the gate to the elders and say, My husband's brother refuseth to raise up to his brother a name in Yishra'el. He will not perform the duty of a husband's brother to me. Then the elders of his city shall call him and speak to him. And if he stand and say, I like not to take her. Then shall his brother's woman come to him in the presence of the elders, and loose his shoe from off his foot, and spit in his face, and she shall answer and say, So shall it be done to the man that doth not build up his father's house. And his name shall be called in Yishra'el, the house of him that hath his shoe loosed. When men strive together one with another, and the woman of the one draweth near to deliver her husband out of the hand of him that smiteth him, and putteth forth her hand, and taketh him by the secrets, Then thou shalt cut off her hand, thy eye shall pity not.
Thou shalt not have in thy bag diverse weights, a great and a small. Thou shalt not have in thy house diverse measures, a great and a small. A perfect and just weight shalt thou have. A perfect and just measure shalt thou have, that thy days may be long in the land which Yahweh thy God giveth thee. For all that do such things, even all that do unrighteously, are an abomination to Yahweh thy God. Remember what Amalek did to thee, by the way, as ye came forth out of Mithraim, how he met thee by the way, and smote the hindmost of thee, all that were feeble behind thee, when thou wast faint and weary, and he feared not God. Therefore it shall be, when Yahweh thy God hath given thee rest from all thy enemies round about, in the land which Yahweh thy God giveth thee for an inheritance to possess it, that thou shalt blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under skies, thou shalt not forget. And it shall be, when thou art come into the land, which Yahweh thy God giveth thee for an inheritance, and possessest it, and dwellest therein, that thou shalt take of the first of all the fruit of the ground, which thou shalt bring in from thy land, that Yahweh thy God giveth thee, and thou shalt put it in a basket, and shalt go to the place which Yahweh thy God shall choose to cause his name to dwell there, and thou shalt come to the priest that shall be in those days, and say to him, I profess this day to Yahweh thy God that I am come to the land which Yahweh swore an oath to our fathers to give us.